So you won two gold medals at the Oceania Track Championships. How do you feel? Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with my results. Um, would have been nice if I got a PB, but um, without any tapering or anything like that in a run-up to event, it's um, not really a surprise to not PB. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how I executed my races and um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Tapering is like when you kind of ease off on your training a little bit before in the run up to run up to a pinnacle event so um, you let your body recover and get into a state where you can do like your absolute best and um, you often take weeks to build into you know that sort of state before you taper great so for those of us who aren't familiar with paracycling can you tell us about the two events that you won yeah so uh, my first race was the um, 500 meter race so that's just two laps of the velodrome um, that race is all about getting the bike up to speed as quick as you can so you leave the gates and then it's just two laps as hard as you can just on your own um, and then the next one is the pursuit so for a c5 my classification we do a three kilometer pursuit which is 12 laps around the velodrome so um, my coach Damien would be standing just after the finish line for me and he'd be yelling out splits to me so I know what I'm doing and I can um, make little adjustments as I go around the track just to try and squeeze every last drop out of myself as I go around yeah now you competed in Tokyo 2020 last August September what have you been working on since then there's just a lot of fine tuning in um, the pursuit I think that I'm working on um, yeah lots of little things um, just you know building building up my strength and just um, doing everything that we can to try and go a little faster yeah and is the pursuit your specialist event yeah that is the one that historically I have placed the best in um, I don't know if I enjoy it the most <laughs> it is fun but uh, um, I guess you know when you have something that you're you're better at that it also comes with um, uh, that extra pressure to perform you know expectations and things like that so I enjoy it once it's over but I um, I think I really like the 500 one because you don't have to think about it too much you know you don't have to control your nerves so much in the run up to that race it's just like get yourself hyped up get out there smash it as hard as you can and it's just fun yeah awesome how did you get into paracycling yeah um so the thing i guess that differentiates paracycling from able-bodied cycling is that a lot of us not so much anymore but um, when i first started didn't really come into um, elite sport through the normal channels um, with able-bodied a lot of athletes stay in that sport all through their lives you know they start out in that sport and then they go to the games for that sport but for myself and a lot of other para-athletes um, I guess we were kind of scouted um, at completely random and different events just for me it was for um, an amputee conference for youths so um, it was just like a conference where we went out and went rock climbing and sailing and just all these really cool things and there was a guy there called Hadley who um, got me in touch with the um, paracycling head coach at the time. And I went down to Cambridge and had a go on the velodrome and um, did pretty well. So um, just sort of started getting into it from there. And that was, um, I think, about 2017, something like that. So, yeah. Fantastic. Your classification is C5. What does that mean? So the c means that i'm on a single bike so not a tandem not a trike and not a hand cyclist the first letter stands for what kind of bike you ride and then um the five means for me it's the least impaired so in the c classification there goes c1 all the way to c5 so c5 means least impaired c1 means more impaired so because i'm just missing my left hand obviously i'm um, just a c5 Tell us about what's happening this weekend in Brisbane. So we're about to start our road racing. Um, so we've got a time trial tomorrow and uh, that's about 16 kilometers. So um, kind of on the shorter end of the time trial spe spectrum, I suppose. And then the next day we have a road race. And I think that's about 75 Ks for me. Yeah, it should be fun. It's going to be hot, but <laughs> should be cool. Brilliant. 
So being the best in Oceania is fantastic, but this is just a stepping stone for you. What's the ultimate goal? Yeah, so um, this um, champs is actually a really good opportunity for us to gain a lot of points to get spots earned for um, the next games in Paris. So um, yeah, we're just basically out here just trying to you know, for the for the rest of the, the time leading up into Paris, just we're attending as many of these competitions as possible to get as many points as we can so that we can get as many Kiwis as possible on the world stage at the Games. Oh!